All right, guys, I have another question here. It says, okay, I'm going to apologize if this sounds idiotic, but I have a serious question. And yesterday at work, I had a chance to talk with a woman I'm interested in, but completely froze. What can I do when the opportunity comes to talk to her when that arrives again? I hate freezing up and not even saying hi to her. Thanks. Okay. All right. So I'm getting a lot of these questions about what to do when in freezing up, right? And that's the whole point of this group is to get you unstuck. So let's just assume that she likes you. Okay, when you're freezing up and you're acting weird around her, she knows what that is and she can feel it. And if she's especially attractive, then yes, she's probably come across this many, many times and you're not the first one to do it. And that's why when a guy comes up who secured himself, I don't like saying he's confident, but I like to say that a man secured himself because that actually has more meat to the term than just being confident. Then she can feel that, right? So women are intuitively, they can intuitively feel what's going on with a guy before he even says anything. And that's why when you try to use lines or tactics and these type of things, it gets really weird and she they don't work very well because she can feel the incongruence between what you're saying and how you're feeling emotionally and what you want in your heart. And that's the problem. That incongruence means that she can feel you're just trying to get something from her. And so if you talk to any women who've come across this quite a bit, they're gonna say, well, he wanted something from me, but he didn't want me. He, he wanted something, but it, yeah, but it wasn't me. It's, it's pretty much word for word what I hear over and over again. And so you have to ask yourself, what is it that you want from her? And it sounds like you just want the validation to be successful with her. Do you even, why are you interested in her? You didn't even talk about that. You didn't say why you're interested in her. And he said, when the opportunity comes to talk to her, I arrives, I hate freezing up and not even saying hi to her. Yeah, because you don't really, I don't think you really know why you like her. Because if you knew why you like her, you just ask her about that. Hey, I, I like the fact that you're this and, and that's pretty cool. I have this thing going on too, or I find that that's interesting for such and such reason. I'd like to get you to know you more. How about we hang out, right? But you can't even do that. You freeze up. You don't know what to say. So one trick that you can do, and this, I, I find that this is very, this works very well for men. It worked for me back when I was freezing up is just when you feel that nervousness, just recontextualize it as being excited because it feels very similar. You can say, well, I'm just really excited to talk to her. I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous. I'm just really excited. I'm anticipating what's going to happen. And sometimes that's enough to get it unstuck. Um, if you're having a hard time talking to her in particular, uh, you're probably having a hard time talking to people in particular. So another thing you can do is just go and talk to other people and start co start up conversations because it sounds like you don't have your main go to's for to start a conversation and being social and being flirty and charming and stuff is a skill that you can develop, but you haven't developed even basic social skills. And so you need to start developing those so that when you come into a situation like this, you know what to say, because you'll have a few things that you can just default back to. And this is why you don't want to use lines and tactics for somebody else, because they're not necessarily going to work for you. And they're not going to be based on your personality. In other words, they're not going to be congruent, like I was saying before. So it's good to just go out there, start talking to some other people, cashiers, waitresses, other people that you, um, yeah, and, and those, and just use the same stuff there. Like the, what's going on here is you put this woman on a pedestal and you think that she's really awesome. But the thing is you gotta, you gotta humanize, you gotta realize she's just another woman and that her physical appearance is just the first barrier, right? It's just the first barrier. But once you're past that, once you get to know her, you're going to find out there's all kinds. Of, once you've dated enough beautiful women, you find out that it's just a container. It's just a wrapper. And yeah, it is nice. And your biology responds to it really nicely. And that is definitely a gift that you should give yourself is to be with somebody you find physically appealing. But at the same time, you realize it's just the, it's just the first door to get through, right? If she's going to be in your life, she has to have this trait. But then after that, the other things need to fall into place. But the thing is, you're not used to having that happen, so you don't even get to that point because you have never even had this happen with this beautiful woman or probably other ones. So whatever it is, you gotta start humanizing her. Start looking at her as a human in a way. Look at her, watch how she acts and stuff like that. Start seeing some of her flaws and seeing that she is just human, just like you are, and say something. Because a lot of what, you, what men need to do when they start talking to a woman or women in general, and they're having these freeze up things is they can't they have a hard time humanizing the women. They think that they're these perfect things and that they're shit, and that the guy is shit, but she, it's not the case. And if you talk to her and you find out that she's mean to you or she doesn't respond the way you want, that humanizes it. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a bad guy. It just means that she's not compatible with you. We get into a lot of this in step nine in um, the group coaching program. Where we talk about finding your perfect partner and how to 
get away from all this stuff right here. Well, it happens. We do this in all nine of the steps of the program, but we specifically hit this one in, in step seven, eight, nine. So if you're interested in that, um, I would say hit me up and um, yeah, we'll get you squared away in just a couple of months. All right, man, that's it.